I'm back in Cambridge, back to the days where, obviously I worked very hard, but I did spend a lot of time on the river rowing. I last coxed about 40 years ago. If you believe in prayer, I suggest you say one now. Are you ready? Go! Nick Hills and I were students together at Cambridge, and we recently met to visit the college we were both at and take a tour. Hi, Nick. Hello, Justin. Very nice to see you after <laughs> so you. long. We headed over to Nick's room in one year when he was at college. A transforming moment happened, a life-changing moment. May, may I go in? Yes, there of course. Why don't you lead the way? All right. Because you used to live here. Thank you very much for letting us no disturb problem. you. You're very kind. We came back here, yeah, I think, fun. about 10 -ish. On October the 12th, 1975, just before midnight, that having spent time talking and sharing, speaking together, and I realised that I was at a point of decision about life, and my life was going to go one of two ways. And I prayed a very simple prayer, saying, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I don't know anything about you, but come into my life. And he came in, something changed, and has stayed changed from then on with all the ups and downs and me trying to run away and good times in, the life, in my life and really bad ones. And that started with you just as another undergraduate, very simply encouraging me to look at who Jesus was. I, I just can't imagine how different my life would have been. That's the extraordinary thing. Well, the next morning you gave me this Bible you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Cambridge, 1975. That was the verse that was the page that was open when I became Archbishop of Canterbury, when I was installed at Canterbury Cathedral in the St. Augustine copy of the Gospels that St. Augustine bought with him in 597. They said, do you want it open anywhere in particular? I said, yes, John 15, 16. From that moment. Isn't that extraordinary? That's terrific. It's a beautiful Bible. I've used it for years yes, and years I, and years. I exactly like it, and uh, I use it also day by day. When I think through my journey of faith, Nick wasn't the only person involved. In fact, far from it. I later learned that there was a particular person who'd prayed for me every week since he knew that I was on the way. As I was conceived, that I might become a follower, a disciple of Jesus Christ. I can't tell you how grateful I am to them. What an extraordinary, faithful and loving gift that was. But that's a gift that we can all afford. It's not a gift that any of us is unable to give. Who could you give that gift to?